how are you? I wanted to come and do a really quick live today talking about uh, the biggest mistake so many businesses are making all of the time and we can't help it it's because we are working intuitively and I'm going to share with you an incredible tool which makes you understand exactly what you need to work on and what you need to fo focus on to make the biggest impact in your business right now. So I'm really excited for you to join me and watch this quick workshop that I'm going to run. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments where you are from and what you are doing and uh, how how's business for you at the moment. So I'm Sarah Humphreys, I'm a business coach and confidence coach. I'm also a Fix This Next advisor for the Fix This Next Mike Michalowicz new book that's out. You might have heard of Mike before. He's also got the well-known uh, best-selling book, Profit First. And Fix This Next is his new book. And I'm thrilled to be one of his advisors for this. And this is a brilliant opportunity to learn um, a quick system that you can do and you can also follow in the book this process and I can help you further with that today. So I would love you to um, just take a moment and just really think about your business and think where this applies to you. Think how you can pull this information in and what you can do with it. So the biggest mistake uh, as business owners, as entrepreneurs, we make is because we are working intuitively. We are working on things in our business that we feel like is the right thing to do. We are watching the industry, what the industry is doing, and we are also marketed to all of the time. So what often happens, and you know, I've been there myself many a times, you've got a plan, you know where you're heading, you've got a good idea of, you know, what you need to do in your business. And then we've got all these marketing things come at us and suddenly you start thinking, do I need to grow my Instagram followers or do I need to do this? And we can divert, we can end up looking at the wrong things in our business, focusing on the wrong things, putting all our energy into that, and they are things that actually won't really make a big impact in our business. And if you fail to miss these things that you need to do, then obviously you won't experience the business growth needed to grow a successful, sustainable business. So I'm going to go through these stages and Mike McCallowitz has created a brilliant system. Now, I've been using this ethos myself within my coaching for a long time. So when I discovered um, Mike's tool, it further enhanced what I offered. And it gives re it really simplifies and makes it easier to understand the different levels of a business and the different levels of growth that you need to accomplish to, to hit all these things to get the growth that you you desire to if you desire to be a successful business and i imagine you do because that's part of the roller coaster ride that we're all on as entrepreneurs to grow a successful business that is sustainable profitable so we can live you know the life that we desire so the um there's various levels as you can see here that uh really clearly show the different stages of business growth now the the most important part is the sales and to coincide with this there's also an evaluation so this takes the guessing game out of guessing what you feel like you need to do in your business there's a fix this next evaluation when you take the evaluation and out at the end of it it gives you a summary of what you need to focus on in your business now there is a, a fix this next online evaluation i can also do one-on-one uh, -on -one evaluations with you and assess where you are in your business and then create a strategy from that so the first area is sales so that is the core of a business. It is the founding foundation place of any business. And that really goes without saying. 
because without sales, there is no business bottom line. And there's various areas within this sales section that you need, really need to consider. So it's your lifestyle congruency. So what, what do you need in your life to live? What, what's, the desi what's your um, desirable amount that you need to earn in a year to, to live the lifestyle that you need? Are you attracting clients to your business? Are those clients converting? Are you converting those clients into ongoing clients? Are you delivering on the commitments? So your commitments you're making to these clients, are you able to follow up on these? And collecting on commitments. So the sales area is so important. And when we think about sales, so many people get wildly uncomfortable about sales. And I've seen it just today uh, in a group, somebody asking about sales and how they can improve their sales. And sales is fundamentally the core of any business, whatever you're selling, whether it's service-based or product-based, you have got to feel comfortable talking about what you offer. It's just part of uh, growing a successful business. So when you do an evaluation, so the whole ethos is you do an evaluation, you've then got a strategy and you can track the growth. You can track the moving the needle from where you are to where you want to get to. Because if we are not tracking, if we haven't got a strategy behind what we need to achieve, there's absolutely no way of knowing if it's working. So I've noticed before when people know they've got to work on sales, if it, if it feels uncomfortable, people start drifting and thinking, oh, I need to grow my Instagram followers and all of the things that are not going to make the biggest impact. And so therefore, they don't see the growth in sales because they haven't stayed focused. So it's so important to have a strategy in place, know that you're what you need to work on for instance sales and then having a strategy okay so this is how we're going to create more sales into our business this is what we've got to do and we've got to be consistent to keep up with um to be accountable and to track where we're going so then we can see results so sales is the base level the foundation level that without this, there's nothing else. And that's why I love this graphic so much because it makes it really, really obvious that this area needs to be fulfilled and needs to be uh, creating consistent cash income into your business to be able to move on to profit. It's, it's really as straightforward as that but this is often the part that is the stumbling block so for instance if we've got sales if sales is the is the level of what we've come to what the evaluation has brought up then you know and together we'll work on a strategy and then you can think okay so i know i need to do these steps and get the results so sales could come in all forms it might be client creation so getting more clients into your business and working out what steps you need to do to get these clients into your business. To work out, okay, so I know I need to do that. Let's create a plan of how I'm going to get more clients because that's how we have to do it. We have to have a plan to then know what to do, how we're going to do it and to get the desired income. So once this is fulfilled, once you've done that, then it's perfect to do another evaluation. Only then, when you've got the results from that, do you know, okay, we've, we've got this fulfilled. The answers that I've been given is non-biased and I know I've fulfilled this and now we're into the profit section. So... We've got to the stage where we've got consistent sales coming in. So now we have uh, overcome the, de the desirable amount of income that we needed in a year. So then we're into the profits because we've 
sustain that, we're over that, and now we're making profits in the business, which is incredible. So when you get to this point, it's about eradicating any debt that's already in your business, looking at the margins, looking at the margins in your business and creating healthy margins as a result of your um, you know, your uh, services or your products, checking the transactional frequency. So you need to make sure, and this is also relating before, that you've got repeat customers of your ideal clients coming back. So this is working automatically and that you are able to then leverage your profits. So if we are looking at profits, we know then the next section is We've, we've got to focus on that. If that's what comes out on your evaluation, do then, no, this is what I've got to focus on. This is the next step for me and my business to accelerate up. Or sometimes people have completely bypassed this section with their answers for their evaluation. That's already sorted. That's already in place. They've got things already there. It doesn't matter necessarily mean that you go up to the next level. This, if if depending on how you're running your business, if you've got a team or if you've got a you know somebody helping you with your finances, you might automatically go straight up to the order level. So it doesn't ha necessarily have to be that way round. So if we're if we're looking at the profits, then that's what we focus on and, you know, create a strategy around uh, sustaining that area and uh, creating the profits in your business. So the next section is order. Now, if you're wondering what that means, it is all your systems that you've got a strategy. So I see a lot of businesses that ha if you have a rapid growth, if you go through this quickly, and then suddenly there's no systems in place, there's nothing to support the rapid growth. So then the business owner is completely overwhelmed. There's too many orders, they can't um, sustain it. So then that can have a negative effect if people are having a bad experience working with you. They're not getting the customer attention that they need. So that's why it's really important to really consider these things and keep doing the evaluation so then you are really aware of where you're at in your business and know these things are in place already so when we're looking at order you know you want to maximize the waste in your time and i don't know if you're like this my head is naturally my mind is naturally uh, sort of switched to this function where I am constantly, how can I save time on this? How can I do it quicker? How can I do this a different way? And I have a very strategic mind. This is just how I've always been. And I think it's from running my own businesses for 25 years. I am done a lot of work myself, working for myself with children, with all different obstacles in the way. So I have been very, I have had to create a lot of systems naturally to get as much done as I possibly can in a short space of time. Especially now at the moment with things, with your children at home and when you're homeschooling, that really is creating a, a, a very lean strategy to be able to maximise your time when you can work in your business. So it's having these systems in place, probably uh, also... Uh, getting a team involved, getting people to manage different roles within your business. And it's mastering your reputation at this level as well. You're sort of getting a really good reputation for who you are, what you're good at, and getting really well known. So then the next level is impact. So really, that is quite self-explanatory. It's you know, it's a real transformation. It's creating a bigger impact. It's having a team of people who recognise, you know, that you're uh, an industry leader. You're creating a big impact and known for what you're doing. So, and then the top one is legacy. So when you're at a stage where your business is running without you, you've got such a well-known brand that it is running and you could easily pass your business on to somebody else. But most businesses 
I work with are within these three bottom layers. This is the most uh, common ones for small businesses because, you know, we're, we're growing a business. You know, it takes many years to get to this level. And a lot of this, as you can probably gather, comes from reputation. You know, you, you create um, an impact because your reputation and the difference you're making in the world. And that all comes from having those in place. So this, I love this system. I hope that is, you know, clears some ideas for you, helps you to think about your business in a way that, you know, what is the most important area you need to work on in your business. I would love you to check out the link in the comments that I'm going to drop. That is, will take you to a book excerpt, 63 pages of the Fix This Next book, completely free. I'm able to give that to you being a Fix This Next uh, advisor. So I would love you to take a look at that. There is also the opportunity there for you to be able to take the online evaluation for free. So you really must do that. And you, uh, you go through the questions and at the end you actually get a printout of your results. So it's very, very, you know, it's a no brainer to do to help you to feel clear and clarity on you know, what you need to work on in your business instead of just guessing and trying to figure it out on your own and working intuitively, which of course, when there isn't any tools like this, we have to work intuitively. We do have to look and think, okay, um, you know what, I'm looking at my bank balance. I know I need some sales. And, and instead of just working like that, when you see it in black and white and you've got a strategy in place and you've got a plan and you think, I know what I need to do to get to the next level. And I love this graphic so much because it really does make it clear and make you realise, yes, you know, I've got to, what you've got to fulfil those foundation levels before you can go up. And, you know, I'd love to help you with this further. So please click the link below this video in the comments. It will take you straight to the Fix This Next book excerpt that's completely free to you. You can also obviously order the Mike McCallowitz Fix This Next book, uh, audio book. It's also in paper format. You'll find that on Amazon. So please do that. And I look forward to sharing more with this uh, with you in the coming weeks. Any questions, let me know. I would love to hear from you. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's been super helpful for you and um, I look forward to talking to you again. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye.